Good evening, Rajani again. Today I'm gonna share with you how to make rice pudding. This is a very simple recipe and they're very simple ingredients. And a lot of time kids like this um, rice pudding. And also people who um, needed higher calorie, um, you know, somebody who has Alzheimer or dementia, they need higher calorie. Um, this is good for that also. And kids that who are underweight, that you want to boost up their calorie, um, giving them something nutritious like um, milk um, and also um, maybe some sugar on the sweetened condensed milk, but I don't add extra sugar. You just um, kind of have a, a tablespoon of um, melted butter and it has to be um, no salt, unsalted butter. And then you, um, I use one cup of rice, just one small cup of rice. And then um, more the milk, um, creamier the rice pudding. So I have three cups of um, whole milk. Um, three cups because again, the idea is to um, have extra calorie. And milk does have, you know, calcium, protein, vitamin D. Um, and then also it has whole milk as fatty amino acids, that's good for their brain boost for younger kids and also kids who are underweight, this is nice. And then, like I said, a cup of um, rice and then um, three cups of whole milk. And then I use um, half of the, um, this is 14 ounce, so seven ounce of sweetened condensed milk. That's all I use. Um, I don't add any extra sugar. And then in the beginning, until the, this starts boiling, you put the um, little higher heat. The one thing about the rice pudding is you have to guard it. You have to keep stirring it often because if you don't do that, and then it'll burn and the smell is so awful when rice pudding burns. That smell is not good. So you, ha you probably should do, you know, stay by the kitchen and keep stirring at it often. Um, and then pretty soon I'll show you the end product. Um, okay, that's that. Three cups of whole milk, a tablespoon of unsalted butter, and cup of rice. And it can be long grain, it can be in jasmine, any kind of rice. Put it all together in a pretty thick pot and let it boil. And I'm gonna cover it. And it, it gets ready in about 20 minutes. You, you have to keep stirring it. So make it easy for you to see it. I already cooked some this morning. Um, today is Saturday, so I um, made this and then I just added maybe a pinch of cinnamon because cinnamon is also very good for you. Um, it lowers your, um, you know, regulates your sugar in the blood and also it's good for um, other um, digestive system and things like that. This is just a little bit of cinnamon there. This one is just plain, just those ingredients I put it here and then what also you can do I know kids are picky they like simple food so I you could serve it just like that or I usually put dried cranberry but I didn't have any dried cranberry because I only go shopping every two weeks or actually we do curbside delivery this is a uh, raisin dried raisin you can use dried raisin mix it together and eat that okay I'm gonna kind of Lower this and keep stirring it. Just stir it often. And enjoy this for a dessert or a Saturday morning breakfast with fresh cut of fruits. Um, there you go. And I'll be cooking barley soup here later on and also um, a green, um, split green pea soup. Um, that, that, those both will, kids will like it. Namaste. Have a good afternoon.